agrees with the running game. I obviously, um, talked about it many times with you guys. I feel like everything starts and ends uh, really with our ability to run the football and establish the run game. <clears throat> uh, you look at the last two victories, we, we were certainly able to do that. Uh, you, you look at the games we lost, uh, but we ran the ball pr pretty well at Purdue, didn't run it quite as well uh, against Northwestern. And, you know, certainly that, that hurt us. But I think you bring up an interesting point, right, when you talk about uh, what, why has it been successful. You, you mentioned the offensive line. I feel like they've been playing pretty well and, and certainly played a high level last week. Uh, you mentioned the three backs also playing at a really high level. But uh, you know, one thing that's important to think about when you talk about the run game, uh, it, it's always a team effort. And um, you know, I've been around a lot of really good offensive lines where you know, we, weren't, we weren't doing much but averaging about four yards a carry which isn't enough because uh, when, when you talk about uh, how do you have that success running the football, obviously the line has to do a great job, get it started. Uh, backs have to do a good job. But when, when you think about team football, we, we've got nine guys on every play that are capable of blocking. Um, unless you're talking about wildcat or a quarterback run game, right? So one guy's handing the ball, if one guy's carrying it, only nine guys <clears throat> can block, which means there's going to be two free guys on defense. And the goal on every play is to put the ball on the least dangerous unblocked player that we can. Hopefully there's one guy way on the backside of the play. Uh, and then hopefully the guy on the front side that we can't get blocked is the least dangerous, the secondary support player. Um, but, but that's going to take the tight ends, the fullbacks, and then most importantly, the perimeter players. And, and when you look at the success we were able to have Friday night, certainly the line played well. Certainly the backs ran the ball well. Uh, and we're seeing things. Tight ends, I thought, played well, but uh, probably under undersung, uh, underappreciated was the value of the receivers in the run game last week. Uh, finishing blocks, starting blocks, sustaining blocks. And if you look at any of the big explosive runs from, from last week or the season, uh, chances are you know, you're, you're going to see a couple of receivers in that picture uh, allowing us to go from, you know, 14 yards to 46 yards or, you know, 12 yards to 25 or, or whatever it is. And, uh, certainly those things are, are important in the game.